Hey guys, it's Kelly. Hey, I'm going to run through this this uh, project really quick with you and then have the process video afterwards. So if you want to see the portions of the process video that got saved, <laughs> um, hang in there with me. So this is my second design team project for Tressor Selux, and I had so much fun with this. And I can't fit it all on the screen. I've recorded this a few times, um, and the other videos were just too small. So I'm going to run through what I did so you guys can see. I love how it turned out. It's my vintage birdcage sanctuary. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> so, But I had a lot of fun with Lucy's products. And I'll show you what I, what I used. I used three different laces. And then I used a lot of the uh, rosebuds. These rosebuds. And in my first design team project, I show you how to take these rosebuds and split them open. And pardon my nails, guys. I'm, they're on my to-do list split them open and put another bud in the middle to make it a bigger flower and I used that in this project I've got to be careful with this and some of the flowers that I did at the bottom here these red ones obviously were not red they don't come red so I painted them with red acrylic paint and I made this one bigger this is a white rosebud it's two of these okay and if you want to see how I, how I created that, you can just check out my, um, on my channel. It's very recent, Tresor's Deluxe Project, the first project. So, and I have some flowers in here just for my stash. And I use a lot of those flowers around the moss there. And hopefully I don't lose it here. This is just glass. It's a glass candlestick as my base. And then this is the gorgeous doily that I got in my uh, design team package. So, and I painted it, oh my gosh, I did so much to this project, and it changed direction and color so many times, and the moss is what really brought it together, I think. So, let me go through the laces that I used. So, this is layered lace here, and hopefully you can see it. There's about a half an inch in between there, so that it's not just laid on top of each other. I really like to have them, have them kind of staggered. If you got to hang the two laces together, I like to kind of have them staggered like that, so... So, and real quick, the laces that I used for the bottom portion is this yummy goodness right here. I'll have the links to where you can buy all these gorgeous laces. You guys need to go treat yourself at Lucy's store. She has the best quality lace. And, uh, oh, you can use this. It's so versatile. You can use that lace in so many different projects in so many different ways. So that was this section right here. Sorry if you can't see that. That was the back, the first layer. And then this layer right here is this gorgeous yummy stuff right here. And how I, how I, um, you know what, I'm sorry, that's not what that is. That's this gorgeous yummy stuff. So pretty. Love it, love it, love it. So, and I love that it has these things up here because it helped with the vintage feel. So I could use my vintage photo there and show the tips of it distressed and then the bottoms of it distressed so and I'm gonna be doing something fun with this next so sorry that was that layer and then this is what this yummy goodness is what I used to make the birdcage the birdcage is all lace so let me go let me bring it closer and show you so hopefully it's gonna focus well you can see how it's that lace and it's hard. It was all stiffened and painted many colors <laughs> until I finally found what I wanted. But I think if I didn't have all the different colors in the background, I wouldn't have achieved the look that I got. So I think it was all necessary. But what I did was I took one of the balloons that you make balloon animals with, the real thin ones like this one right here, just these real long thin ones, and I blew it up and just laid the lace on it. You could do that with a lot of um, these are great when you're stiffening lace and you want to have it kind of rounded. So um, I just did that and put the stiffener on there and let it sit. And then when it was done, I used five portions of the lace. So I cut it at like one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I used maybe eight and a half inches total. And then once I um, once it was stiff, I just um, kind of rolled it together, and then I I made out of uh, grunge paper just a little hinge, just to connect it together, and then a bird cage emerged, and that's how this whole project came to be. 
So, but I really like um, how that worked out. My husband said I love how the birdcage looks like wings. I didn't even notice that <laughs> until he pointed it out. So, my lighting is not that great. But you can see in the background there. My lamp, I can't move it. So anyway, and then I just made little, you guys know how I love movement in all my projects, so I just put a little dangle with a bead there and hung it from the top. And then this is, this orange flower is just a flower for my stash, and then the moss I got at my local Michael store. It's really messy, but I think it's it has the best, most realistic feel. This would be really cute to do with a little fairy in there too. I mean, lots of ideas, but I love these little fatty birds. Look at them. Oh my god, they're so cute. And these two are kissing. It's so cute. I love those little birds you get from Michaels. So, um, and then I just put some brads. These are just some pearl brads that I rubbed some gold rub and buff on. And I used gold rub and buff all over this. So I did a lot to it, but, um, you know, there's a process video where most of it is shown. And I'll try and talk through it through the process video. But there it is. I love it. I hope you guys do too. And I loved using the lace. This was a big challenge for me because I don't usually do things with a lot of lace. And it was just the challenge I needed. And I found new mojo and new ideas that I didn't even know were hiding in my brain. So yeah. So go check out Lucy's store and stay with me here. And I will show you some pictures. And then we'll go through um, the process portions of the video that I saved. Alright, thanks guys. Okay, so here we go. So there is the candlestick. It's one of the cheap ones. And uh, that is the lace before it was painted. And I'm showing you the lace that I used. Um, and the stiffener, just Aileen's fabric stiffener. And the balloon. So, and I just made that, and hopefully you can see that hinge in there. It's just, I knew it was going to paint it, so it was okay. It didn't matter what color it was. But um, right there, I'm showing you how I'm going to cut out the middle of that doily. And there it is. I cut that out. And then it just slid right over the top. And then I slapped some gesso down, which is way too much gesso. It all just plopped out. So I wound up prepping two pages. So I'll be doing an art journal page soon. I didn't waste all that gesso. It's so funny, guys. I did so much to this crazy candlestick with texture and and paint and, and then I covered it all up but that's just how it goes sometimes so that is the um, one of the circles that I was going to use and then I staggered it so right there you can see I covered it in snow text because I wanted I thought ooh that would be really cool and I didn't have any stucco or anything like that but that's what I would have used but covered it in snow text and then I painted the I was going for like brown and then I totally came away from that in the middle of it so as I was pulling out different paints and stuff so I'm just using my black distress ink I kept it really simple and I just played and had fun with it so I painted it first I painted it black and then I used this Mar Martha Stewart pearlized paint like a white cream color paint and uh, painted over that um, bird cage and then I painted the whole candlestick with that same Martha Stewart metallic looking pearlized actually it's pearlized paint so and I just used some tea dye and some vintage photo on that um, strip of lace uh, I love that stuff I think that's my favorite one so far so I just um, and then there is another I just cut it out of chipboard I cut a circle and then I used the grunge paper and hot glued it on to give it a lip so I had something to glue the lace to and I painted it just in case it would be seen because it's just that boring gray grunge paper color. So I just painted it and let it dry. That is the top portion, not the bottom portion. So, and then I just, real simple, I just hot glued it all the way around and I made sure that those little tips of the lace um, stuck out because I wanted them to be up poking out of the moss. I knew I was going to fill the top of that with moss so you couldn't see too much of it by the time I was done with it but I still painted it. This lace guys is just so fantastic to work with and I, I, I'll admit I've never really been a big lace user but um, 
in doing this design team, it, it was a challenge exactly what I was looking for, like I said earlier, but but I wound up coming up with new ideas that I didn't even know I could think of. So, so there's my layering. So I had two, two different, um, about a half inch um, in diameter difference so that it would, you know, not just be laid on top of each other. And then I'm just, I'm just barely hitting it, which is hard to see in the video and the, in the pictures, but I am barely hitting that um, lace with the vintage photo and tea dye. And then I turn that inside out, glue it, hot glued it on. And I hated wait, wasting a portion of that lace, but it was necessary to have it be the right length and have it attach. So it wound up giving me more dimension. So, so there you go with the moss. Oh my gosh, it's so messy. <laughs> It was so messy. I cut a lot of it out and I had glue strings and pieces of moss all over the place. I think I had one hanging from my ear at one point. It was hilarious. But um, that moss comes in sheets and you just break it apart. I mean, I've never used it before, to be honest with you. I've never even tried this before. So maybe if there's a better way to do it, cleaner way to do it, I'd love to know it. But look at the back of that birdcage. I love how that stiffening process worked. I wish you would have caught it on video, but it's very simple. Blow up the balloon, lay the lace on there, and put some stiffener on it. It's that simple. So, and then you just make a little hinge out of, you know, chipboard, or you can use the grunge paper. It's just what I had, so that's what I used. Just make a little hinge and connect it. And I left it nice and loose, so, because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. So it stays kind of flimsy until you put it in its place, which makes it workable and changeable. So I missed a lot of the video here, guys sorry <laughs> I missed a lot of it so I'm just showing you that was that red acrylic paint that I used just to paint some of those rosebuds that Lucy has in her store those are really versatile you just got to know how to use them you got to know how to manipulate them I, I feel like I just tear things apart you know mutilate things half the time but but I take it apart and make it into something new and then I still also use it the way it was intended so I don't know I think it's better to do it that way so in some of them I take the leaves off and I hold them, you know, I keep them, and then I use them for other flower clusters. So, so and I had to even out my birdcage; it was a little bit crooked. So, and there's the gold ribbon buff. I spared you guys the fighting with the uh, bee to get it in there after the fact. <laughs> but, and you know what? The uh, gold rubber buff, I rubbed it right on that moss, and it really made it cool. It's a cool little effect. I was like, hmm, I wonder what happened if I did this. So, and it goes over the white kind of nicely, and it's like a pearlized white. Darn it, I don't have my paint, so and the video is going fast, so I won't be able to get it in time. But, but the gold rubber buff wound up looking really nice, and I add it to portions of the lace, but it winds up being a little bit too dark. Vintage photo is better. But I added it to the flowers, I added it to the moss, and I, I love that stuff. It stinks, but I don't care, I still love it. Okay, and then it fell. <laughs> it kept falling. I wound up just gluing it up. So those are the brads, the pearl um, and metal brads that I had in my stash. I got it at a craft store. And I wound up, I had five pieces, well I don't remember, five or six. And I just rubbed each brad with the gold rub and buff because the, the black color wasn't working. So the gold rub and buff tied it all together nicely. And then there was one of them that um, in that lace you can you can stick your brad right through it one of them it worked out and then the other ones that I tried it wouldn't work out so I wound up taking the backs of the brads off and just hot gluing it onto the lace either way works but if you're not sure about the brads whether or not they're gonna work you can just stick them right through the lace and see if it's gonna work or maybe you want to reuse them for a different project you know whatever there's options <coughs> excuse me so and fighting with my glue gun Again, must have burned myself 50 times. So, 
and I think that those little pearl brads just completely finished off this spray. It didn't look right without it. It separates the layers of lace just to add that contrasting um, piece on there. You see my glue strings just pulling out. And at the end, I pull as many glue strings off as I can, and then I just hit it with my heat gun, and they all disappear because they just kind of melt into the project. All the glue... Bye-bye, glue strings. <laughs> they all disappear. So there it is. Guys, thank you so much for all your support, your sweet comments, and for watching. And, and again, go check out Lucy's store. You guys will not be disappointed. She's making some uh, great additions to it. So thanks again, guys.